Hey, we're back. Today's part um, four, part four, shock bodies. It's not going to be a real intense uh, video because there's not a lot to discuss. There are some very important things in a shock body. Uh, this is part four of our series. The uh, next one, I think we're going to slip in and do base valves. Um, and I'll show you how that kind of is in the body today, but we'll do base valves and explain that, and then we'll do valvings. That'll kind of be the end to our series uh, of shock bodies, okay? So what we're going to talk about is we have a monotube shock and we have a twin tube shock. Those are the two types of bodies that we do have. <clears throat> uh, this is a QA1 shock, and I appreciate them for letting us use it. Uh, these are VSB shocks, okay? So in today's market, we have a gas shock or a monotube shock, and we have a twin tube shock. The, the difference is, is a monotube shock is exactly what it says it is. It's a single tube, monotube. This is the outside and the inside. It's right there together, okay? A twin tube shock is two tubes. You have your pressure tube, your inner tube, and you have your outer casing, and they go together. You know, they go together, and this creates a twin tube, and there's a gap in between them, and that gap is filled with a gas bag, okay? <clears throat> I'm not a biggest fan of a twin tube shock. Um, just never really liked them. Uh, really couldn't be competitive at building them, so we didn't go down that route. We build the gas shock. And this is two of the styles that we build. This is a 20 series. This is a 25 series, okay? There's a 15 series, and it differs here by the cap screws on the inside. This is the cap that screws on the outside. This is not an expanded volume cap. This is. This is a standard cap. It screws on. This is a one-piece body. The divider is housed in here. The body goes clear to the end. This is an expanded version, but it's a three-piece body. The bulb, this is the bulb, is bigger than the body, and it creates a gas pocket around, whoops, a gas pocket around this. So you have gas inside here and gas inside here. So the gas volume is about twice as big as this shock. Okay, this is what we call a three piece body. It has a lower body, an upper body, and that little aluminum piece right there is the connector ring. And that's, that's this little aluminum piece here. And that connects the two uh, bodies together. If you was, going to have a base valve, that base valve would go uh, right in the place of that connector ring is where it would go. So this is what we call a three-piece body. The divider is, uh, is housed in this extension tube um, is where it is. And then when you put the top on, it creates a gas pocket. And of course, you can fill through uh, a hyper screw or through a straighter valve. Now, we have done in the Gen 1s, and we, we're going to do in this body, <clears throat> we're going to do a one-piece body for the left rears. The connector ring does create a little bit of an issue uh, in a high gas situation. So we may do a one-piece body because it does give us a little more room. That connector ring does take up a little space. Uh, it gives us a little more room to operate in there, uh, and I feel like it's better for a left rear. So. In some cases, we'll do a left rear. We may do it in a 20 series because it's a, it's a one-piece body. Now, all of our bodies, which you're not going to be able to tell in the video, are honed. These are We hone these tubes. We put a surface finish on the inside. We use a pregnated wear band. That wear band, with, along with the treatment, doesn't create stiction. So the piston moves very smoothly. It, it doesn't have to build energy to get moving, uh, which makes more feel for the driver. So a home body, does it bypass fluid as time goes on? So 
six months or three months after you get the shock, you don't suffer from shock fade because your bodies are out around, uh, not straight. Uh, the hone allows us to be very tight on our tolerance, our wall piston clearance very tight, uh, and, and the overall shock seals up. So the valving, if the valving was wrong, it's, it's, it's you know, going to always be wrong. So I see some guys that are like, well, when I first got my shocks, they were good. That's because the bodies they're using are not that good and they fade over time. Now, <clears throat> everything we do is done this way. A 12 series shock, a 23 series shock, aluminum body shock, 60. Everything's burnished, um, honed um, and surface treated and very round, very good. Shock bodies, that's today's video. Uh, like I said, our next video, this is part four. In our next video, we're going to do um, base valve. So help us out. Hit that like button. Uh, tell your friends about these videos. If they're helping you, tell them. That helps us. I want to grow this thing. Uh, I, want, I want to be more beneficial to the racing community. Um, I want to be somebody you guys can appreciate and look up to. So tell your friends uh, about what we got going on here. Like our channel, make YouTube, share this thing. But guys, I appreciate you. We love you. And we'll see you next time.